Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. So I'm just about to head out, but I thought I'll come and say hi because I am going to go get my nails done today because they're quite overgrown now. And I kept it quite simple the last time, but this time around, I had a whole plan, guys. I want to do these capital inspired nails and I've clearly put too much thought into it because look at this. I did a little sketch of what I want to do. So I kind of want to do like a paisley print inspired. Similar to my capital bucket hat. This is the color palette we're going for. And we're going to do some like capital smiley faces. I don't know if they have enough time to do something overly complicated just because I booked their nail appointment quite last minute. So I'm going to Eclair Nails which I love going there because I honestly think they're one of the best nail places in Melbourne. But because they're so good, they're so hard to book, like you have to book it very much in advance and I'm not that girl. So yeah, somehow I managed to get a booking but they can also be quite expensive. They are very good but they're definitely on the pricier side so I don't go there all the time but I'm very excited. I I also wanted to show you what I picked up at Supply two days ago. So I saw on Instagram the other day that they released some of the t-shirts in store. So I thought I'll check it out. There wasn't anything in particular that I really wanted. But I was like, oh, since I'm close to Supply, I might as well check it out. So look what I got. I got the Tamagotchi t-shirt, which I think is so cute. It comes in a bunch of different colorways, but I decided to go for the green just because I have a lot of black and white t-shirts. I wanted something a little bit different and I just love how tiny the Tamagotchi Supreme print is here. So it's not like supreme you know what i mean like i like how it's very tiny so you actually have to like really look to be like oh it's a little tamagotchi and supreme on the back here you can see it says original tamagotchi one supreme bandai and it's just very nostalgic to me because i don't know about you guys but if you grew up in the 90s i'm sure you would have had a tamagotchi and i was obsessed with tamagotchi i actually really really want the Supreme Tamagotchi. I think on StockX it's going for, after like fees and shipping, it's probably around like 200 something dollars. I'm trying to go for like the pink one because I love pink. But yeah, I just wanted to quickly show you guys this little t-shirt that I got. There were a few other ones that were pretty cool, but I was trying to limit myself because I have too many t-shirts. But I'm out here wearing the same ones all the time. Like, I just feel like the human-made t-shirts are really comfortable for me. So I tend to wear them a lot. So they're like, just constantly wear them, wash them, and then they're there. So I was like, oh, I'll just wear these. One more really random thing that I want to show you guys. Look at this. I have the biggest tub of potato chips. I'm not sure you can see how big it is. Look, it's very, very big. I don't know how many grams is in here. It's... It's a really big tub. I have this a 500 gram tub of potato chips and they're actually delicious. Let me just show you guys. Okay, really it's just an excuse for me to like open it. I've been really refraining myself from only having a little bit here and there, but it's very, very addictive. But look at this. The chips in here are actually yummy. And I think they're made in Spain, yeah, produced in Spain, but they're absolutely delicious. I don't know whether they sell them in like smaller quantities, but I'm not mad that I have a very, very big tin of potato chips at home. I'm just going to head into the city. I want to pick up like a new perfume. But anyway, I'm going to stop talking and let's head out. I'm still really early, so I have some time to go to Maya to smell this perfume because they have Libertine perfumes there, which is like a niche perfume little section. And Maya's just over there. So we'll go smell this perfume one more time before I decide if I want to drop like $500. <laughs> on a bottle of perfume and then we'll go get our nails done. I'm actually a little bit hungry. I wanted to go to this cafe called The Flower but then I realized I'm not even open today so I might just wander around the city and maybe get like a matcha, oh my god, <laughs> get like a matcha or a coffee or something. So 
I'm now at Tori's and I ended up getting the ube cheesecake because look at how yummy this looks. And I also got an iced hojicha. Can't wait to try this. go to my nail appointment. It is in this building. I don't know what exactly it's called. I think the Manchester Unity building. That's the one. I haven't been to Eclair for so long that I can never really remember what floor it's on. Let's see. Eclair. Okay. Eclair is on level six. I love this building because it looks really really old. I don't know how old this building is exactly. And also, I actually ended up buying the perfume. So I'll show you guys when I get home. I'm very excited but at the same time I was like, why do you spend so much money? <laughs> anyway, let's go get our nails done. has gone by and I know in the last clip I was telling you guys that I'll show you my nails once they're done and we're here one week later but I really really want to show you guys look at how cute they turned out I know they look quite busy but I feel like that's the vibe that I was going for and it's kind of like on brand with capital and I love the gems that they've done here so I wanted it to look like the studs that you find on their jeans and well it's been a week so you can see it looks a little bit distressed I don't think that's the right word but I'm not very delicate with my hands like I don't wear gloves and I'm doing the dishes and stuff so they've been through it but they're holding up pretty good otherwise and I absolutely love them it was a little bit pricey I think it ended up being like 230 or 40 dollars which i was like okay but i only spend that much on my nails when i like really have something in mind if you guys have been following me for a while you know that i tend to do kind of like hype related nail art design and i don't do it as in like i think of it and then i go to a salon and tell them what i want so this time around yeah i was really stuck on this capital vibe so super super happy with how it turned out i'll make sure to list eclair and any other places that i check out in the description bar below anyway the next thing that i wanted to show you guys is my new perfume so i finally picked up the Amouage Guidance Perfume. I don't have too many niche perfumes in my collection and so this is probably going to be like the worst perfume description. This is not even a review, I just want to share with you guys what I got. Um, so yeah, as I was saying, I tested this fragrance out like a few weeks ago and I just really loved it and I just couldn't decide if I was gonna drop that kind of coin for it because it's pretty expensive but because the weather is cooling down now it's like winter and I really wanted a new winter cozy kind of scent I was using the new Tom Ford electric cherry perfume and I find that that's a bit more like fresh and springy kind of vibe so I wanted something a bit cozier so yeah I ended up getting this so I thought I'll show you guys well it's been a week so I've actually used some of it already but in here is the perfume and look at the bottle it is so pretty it is the prettiest like dusty rose pink kind of color and then on top here you can see there is a little gem and the bottle is just really beautiful and most importantly i love the scent it's quite a woody scent like that is what i think it is i think there's a bit of rose in there and i typically don't go for rose fragrances i either go for something very very woody that's leaning a bit more masculine or i go for like a sweet like girly kind of scent i feel like this is a good combination of both so it's woody but it's also feminine at the same time i think there is a pear note in there and I do get a little bit of that. I think some people are put off by the scent initially when you first spray it. Like even for me, I didn't know what I was expecting. I kind of just went for it because like look at the bottle. And I heard a few people talking about this perfume so I was really really keen on trying it. When you first spray this, there's almost like a really strong like nutty note for me anyway. There is hazelnut in there and I think that is 
the note that I'm picking up, but I love the dry down of this perfume. There's sandalwood in there, there's akidala wood, and also ambergris. So I feel like it's a really smooth, yummy, woody scent that's like feminine. So I think the pear helps it. I think there's a bit of vanilla and rose. Everything is so well blended in this perfume and I don't think I have anything like this in my collection. So yeah, super, super happy that I picked it up. If you guys are looking for a new woody fragrance that's a little bit different, definitely go check this one out. So I picked this up from Libertine and they have that in Maya. Man, Libertine, if you want to seed me some products, just, just hit me up, okay? Because like, I can't just keep buying your perfumes because they're so expensive. But I'm currently on this like perfume wave and I just want to buy all the perfumes, which I really shouldn't. So now that I've gotten this, I feel like very happy because prior to this, I bought a few online. Also, this is not a safe blind buy, by the way. If you guys are just thinking like, okay, whatever she says sounds good and we're just gonna get it, I highly recommend just going to the store and smelling it first before you pull the trigger. But yeah, super, super happy with my new perfume. Anyway, I was talking about that perfume for far too long. Today, I don't really have anything planned, but I want to go to this cafe in West Melbourne, no, North Melbourne. And I saw it on Instagram yesterday and they do this ice tiramisu that looks so, so good. Hold on, let me pull up the photo. So the place is called Reckon Street Coffee and I really, really want to try the ice tiramisu. Look at how yummy that looks. So it's gonna be like a very chill day for me. So I thought I'll bring you guys along with me to the cafe. quite a while ago but I really really love what they do at Candy Bakery because they have such a good range of like sweet and savory things it's just a little bit far away for me that's why I don't go here that often but today I'm here so let me show you guys what they have You guys probably can't see that well because of the reflection but there are some really yummy looking sausage rolls and pies so this is everything that i got so let's start off with the savory this is a beef pie this is a beef sausage roll and then for sweets i got the key lime pie this one over here is called the candied pie and i'm pretty sure it's like a caramel butterscotch kind of pie it looks so yummy and then also carrot cake because I just love the cream cheese frosting. Let's try this. This is a good sausage roll. So I am home now and I thought we could do a little unboxing. So I went to X Playground quite a few weeks ago and picked up something. So X Playground is located in Levy Patisserie and that is the Fabric Cafe in Doncaster. I've vlogged about it before. If you guys haven't been, I highly recommend that you check it out. I love that place. It's just a little bit out of the way for me, but when I go there, I'm always like so happy because I love looking at all the different fabrics that they have on display. And also they have such yummy cakes and they change it pretty often as well according to what's in season. So the last time I went there, there was a pomegranate cake and I also had this taro latte. I don't know why I didn't vlog that day. I think I just wanted to go and like enjoy the moment instead of having to worry like oh let's get this shot and all that. So I just sat there and enjoyed my cake and my taro latte but I just saw on Instagram that they're doing like a matcha like series of cake and stuff and it looks so yummy. So at some point I have to go there again. Anyway besides the cakes and all the yummy stuff I picked up something from there and X Playground I think they were originally just an online store but now you can actually see the product in store at Lovey Patisserie which is really cool so you guys can see the pink box here so I'm sure 
you can already guess what is in here let me just get it out of this bag all right so ta-da so this is the course obviously you guys know that i love course and this is the time off one and of course i got the pink one because I just love pink and in terms of like the course BFF like pink is always my first preference and then if I can't get the pink I'll get the blue and then if not then I'll just go for the black but I don't think I have any of like the all blacks or I'm looking around to see my course I don't think I've ever purchased any of the cores that's like all black. I know certain people just collect the one color and I feel like that looks really good when you just have like the one color and all of them together. Mine are sort of everywhere and it's just different colors. So usually I go for the pink in the BFF. Let's just open this up. I am so excited. So they dropped this quite a few months ago and I forgot to wake up for the drop guys usually I set an alarm and it's usually around like 3 a.m. here and I'll like wake up like five minutes before the drop and like open my laptop and try and copy it online I'm not that successful when it comes to the cause one website every other time that I've copped is always from the DDT website so it's like a Hong Kong based one but was this a course one or DDT I can't remember anyway I did not wake up to cop, so obviously I missed out. Also with this release, correct me if I'm wrong because I wasn't there when it happened. Um, some people were telling me that the shipping was very, very, very expensive for this drop. Like someone was saying it was almost like $400 and I was like, could that have been like some sort of system glitch because who is out here paying that much money for shipping? Because the thing itself would have been like four to $500 if I'm not mistaken, that's generally the price of the course that I've bought in the past. And the shipping is definitely not $400. It's maybe like closer to like 100 from memory. I don't know. Because every time when I buy these stuff online, I'm like panicking and I'm just trying to like continue just to like check out. And then I realized after that, I'm like, okay, I paid too much for shipping. But this time around, I didn't try. But yeah, that's what I heard. So if you guys know, let me know in the comments below. But anyway, I'm happy that I managed to get this from X Playground. So this was above retail, so it's not like a retail store. They do stock some stuff for retail, but they also resell some of the more hype stuff, some of the bare bricks and cores and stuff like that. If you guys missed out on a drop and you're trying to find it locally, maybe check out their website first because I always prefer to get things locally if I can. So in here, I feel like it's been so long since I've unboxed something coarse because he hasn't been dropping too many things recently. I feel like last year and the year before, like he was going really hard and I was out here trying to buy everything. But look at this. Okay, wait, let me take off this plastic. Look at this. Oh my gosh, this is the cutest thing. This is him. He's very relaxed. So he's called Time Off which I think he is in the perfect pose and he would probably look so cute like on the back here. Wait, can you guys see? What, what am I trying to do? Look. So the one behind there is just like the standing one. I can't remember when I got that and I think this would be such a nice addition to my course collection. So I'm so, so happy that I picked it up and yeah, like I said, my preference is definitely the pink one. I'm going to put it at the back here. Let's look at here. They look so cute! Hopefully you guys can see, but how cute does it look at the back there? And he's just there with his, oh my god, what am I doing? Yeah, with his buddy over here. This babe lamb is something I picked up in Sydney. And then here is the course Gone. And I've had this since... When was the NGV exhibition? Like 2019, I want to say. So yeah, I'm so happy with this pickup. Anyway, guys, I'm trying to think if there's anything I want to update you guys on, but I don't think so. Like, I think the sneaker releases have been a little quiet lately, or maybe there isn't anything that has really stuck out to me that I was like, I really, really need it. Maybe it's only me that's feeling this way, but there's nothing that I really, really, really want at the moment. Um, so hopefully we have some good things coming up over the next few months. I did pick up the Jordan 3 Reimagined Cements. I think they are really nice, but I, again, have not unboxed it 
with you guys. So I haven't even worn it. I literally just have it in the box. I think I have to show you at some point. Prior to the release, there were a lot of images saying like the elephant print is like really nice on some and like there was a lot of quality control issues with the Jordan 3s and with my particular pair, so I got it in a men's 6, I ended up going for the men's sizing because I just always think the quality is better with the men's compared to like the grade school ones. Anyway, I got the men's one and the elephant print on mine, it's so thick. Like I I don't know whether because the shoe is smaller or something like it it didn't look great and I was like comparing it to my friends pair and my friends they had like larger sizes like 9 or 10 and it looked pretty good but mine's just like really weird and like thick I, I don't know how to explain it I should probably show you guys but I don't have it here with me right now so maybe Maybe in my next video I'll show you guys, okay? Hey guys, so it is another day and I was editing the video and I thought I might as well just show you guys these Jordan 3s because I kept going on about this elephant print but not showing you guys my actual sneakers so what was the point of that? So these are my Jordan 3 White Cement Reimagined so the box looks like pre aged which I think is pretty cool it's sort of similar to the Jordan 1 Lost and Found and in here are my Jordan 3 let me get both sides to show you guys Overall, I am pretty happy that I was able to pick up a pair So I got these from Up There Store And despite the quality control issues Which everyone is aware of I am still happy and grateful that I was able to get a pair And even though I knew about those issues I still really wanted a pair anyway Because I just think it is such an iconic classic sneaker The Jordan 3 is the very first Jordans that were designed by Tinker Hatfield And it was also the very first Jordan to feature the exposed air unit And I just think it is a classic shoe And you cannot go wrong with these So yeah, happy that I have these And I have not worn them just yet Just because because I didn't do an unboxing so I didn't allow myself to wear them but back to this elephant print which I was telling you guys about as you guys can see on my pair they seem fairly thick and I don't know about your pair let me know in the comments below what your pair looks like I guess the good thing with the pair that I got is that they are pretty consistent on both sides of the sneaker I know that some people got pairs where it's really thick on one side and thin on the other so I I guess it's a good thing that mine are pretty much the same on both sides I got this in a men's US 6 and all my Jordan 3s are men's US 6 so I just went true to size and to be honest guys I haven't even tried these on because I just wanted to keep them DS until I film this unboxing video so I guess I can finally start wearing them which I'm really really happy about this reimagined pair is designed to resemble the OG tooling and shape of the original 80s pair which I think it's cool on the back of the sneaker you can see the Nike Air and you'll also notice that it is a little bit of a yellow or like off-white color because they wanted to give this pre age vintage kind of vibe and you can also see that on the midsole of the sneaker I think it makes the sneaker look really really good so I'm excited that I can finally wear these and I feel like these would probably go well with everything with like some nice denim or like any kind of pants really but speaking of denim I actually picked up a new pair of jeans recently which I quickly wanted to show you guys I also got these from up there and they are just a pair of needles jeans look at this you can see the butterfly print and I feel like they just look really cute cute they are a men's pair and the smallest they had was a size small so I copped the size small and they fit me pretty good except it is a little bit big around the waist I want to say these are maybe like a 30 it the sizing was like small medium large um, but I would say this is maybe around a 30 which I think I'm usually like 28 I don't even know my actual like jean size because as you guys know I don't really wear a lot of jeans I usually wear like fatigues or what kind of pants do I wear? I'm out here wearing like Uniqlo pants in a size small. That's all I know. Anyway, so I thought I'll like step up my denim game for once and wear like proper jeans. So I'm happy that I picked this up. I feel like this would look really cute on and maybe this would look good with the Jordan 3. So is it too much I, I can't tell <laughs> so anyway I'll figure out a fit if you guys want to see a fit pic I'll probably post it on Instagram maybe on my story or something I know it's been a while since I've posted like a fit pic because I don't know guys like I just feel like I keep wearing the same clothes and I don't know whether you guys want to see it and um, yeah 
Anyway, before I let you guys go, I have one more thing that I want to share with you guys. Okay, so this just came today. I ended up buying something else from Libertine Perfume. I told you guys I'm on this weird perfume wave, so I ended up copying something online. I need to stop because when I had bought that Armour Watch perfume, I was telling myself like, okay, that is enough money spent on perfume. Like you don't need any more perfume this year. And then I just went online and bought something like pretty small. So it wasn't like too, too expensive, but I thought I'll just unbox it together for you guys since we're here. Um, this is the second time that I've bought from them online and I feel like they have very good service Like it's really quick like the parcels are like so well packaged and they always write like a little like note for you And this time it says thank you for shopping at Libertine enjoy the samples PS your order is centered with Ho O by Miller. I don't know how to pronounce that name of the perfume, but they pretty much spray the paper with different scents every time they send you your order and like they just tell you what it is, which I think is really nice. And I love that when you shop online with them. This feels like some sort of promo for Libertine. It is not, guys, I promise. I just like love shopping on their online store because I think the service is excellent. Anyway, as I was saying, every time you shop online, I think over a hundred dollars, you can pick like what samples you want and they always throw in a few extras. So they gave me this like shower gel. There's also this little perfume sample. I haven't heard of this brand before. There is also this little pouch, which is where all your samples are. So you can request for like four different ones and then they'll try their best to like obviously give you what you have requested for. But on top of that, they also give you like two extra ones, which I think is wonderful. And I think that is why I've been really into perfumes because it's just fun to like smell different scents and like figure out what I really enjoy. So I like got something from like Zerjoff, like La Capitale and a few other things from Creed. Anyway, the thing that I actually purchased is this Perfumes de Mali little feminine collection. So if I'm not mistaken, there should be six different fragrances in here and they're all like 10 mil. I can't remember how much I paid for them, but it was I think pretty reasonable considering how like the full bottles of perfumes de Mali are pretty expensive. And I also think samples are really great if you're trying to figure out like exactly what kind of scents you like. So look at this. So in here there are six different perfume de Mali's perfume. And I think these are probably like their popular ones, I would say. I'm sure you guys know that the Delina line is super popular and I can't decide if I like really, really love that fragrance. Like I think it's a nice scent. So I thought I'll just buy this little sample to figure out what I really love. And I think it's pretty good. I'm, I'm very satisfied in my purchase. But anyway, I'm sorry if you guys are not interested in like my perfume obsession at the moment. So I'm, I'm very sorry. I think that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!